if you see here, this is a tank. On the tank, we have one RTD, and this is thermoval, and this is RTD, resistance temperature detector, for measuring the temperature. And it provides output in the form of resistance. And this is connected to a transmitter. So this is temperature element or temperature sensor. And then it is connected to the transmitter. Let's see, this is the RTD, right? Your most common temperature sensing element. So this is connected to a transmitter. So this is the transmitter. So this is the cable, see, this is the cable coming from the temperature element and it is connected to a transmitter. This transmitter receives this resistance as input from the RTD and it provides equivalent 4 to 20 milliamp signal to the DCS system. Mostly these are two wire instruments. Remember that. See, this is our sensor RTD and from the RTD one cable is there and it is connected to a transmitter. This is the transmitter. And from the transmitter, another cable will be there. It will connect it to a DCS system, distributed control system. These are two wire instruments. So this uh, cable will carry the power to the transmitter. At the same time, it, the same cable carries the signal to a DCS system. The signal is in the form of loop current. 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Remember that. So this is the most common installation in an industry for measuring a temperature. We have one temperature element or sensor and then we have one transmitter. 